and one, and two, and three. Oh my God, how long is this gonna take? Oh, hey, Mikey, uh, what's going on? Oh, hey, Coach Lewis, I've been lifting for three weeks now and I haven't gotten no results yet. What gives? Oh, no. In this video, I'm gonna give you the best advice to build muscle naturally and real expectations of how long it would take. So you ready? We out. What's going on? It's your boy, Lewis Hoffa Show. You know how we do. In this video, I want to tell you what I wish I knew about building muscle naturally that I didn't know in the past. YouTube was barely starting when I got into fitness. So a lot of information I got was from fitness magazines and information from friends that probably didn't even know what they were talking about anyways. So I want to give you realistic expectations as a natural lifter. I've been lifting since college, but I also took a break and got back into lifting and been pretty consistent for the last 10 to 12 years. This was around the time calories in versus calories out and if it fits your macros became popular in the YouTube industry. And this is when I started implementing it into my diet and started seeing real results. But of course, along the way, I tried every diet and workout that was popular at the time, from cutting out carbs because it makes you fat diet, formerly known as Atkins, now it's called keto. Not gonna lie, I think it's pretty much the same thing. I also did the bro science approach which consisted of brown rice, chicken breast, and broccoli. Oh, I know that one. Wait, that sounds delicious. So because I've gone through a lot of trial and error throughout the years, I want to make sure you watching this video doesn't have to go through the same mistakes that I did. So you can cut through the BS and get the results you wanted. So you ready? Let's go. So how long will it take you to see results building muscle? We all see these fitness influencers giving bad advice because they are all enhanced saying you can put on 10 to 20 pounds of muscle as a beginner lifter. People would post their before and after photos looking super lean and shredded, but not knowing they would train years to put on muscle, but they had layers of fat covering it. So when they diet and lose the fat, it gives you the illusion that their muscles just magically appeared. So being the naive kid that I was, I wanted to get these results as soon as possible. And I bought all these supplements, some I think they don't even sell anymore, since people started to find out there was no scientific data to back up their claims. My second year was the same thing. I found this random workout routine that I found online, but I still had no idea about the dieting part of it all. However, I did gain a little bit of muscle because of all those protein shakes I was drinking. My thing at the time is if I want to build muscle, I had to drink protein shakes. However, I was a bit confused because I looked nowhere like those guys in the magazines, but I was consistent enough at the gym that I started to see some results. One thing I stopped doing was going to the gym with friends because a lot of them don't take weight training seriously. And I got annoyed and then they got annoyed that I got annoyed. They were basically just standing around chit chatting and not really putting much effort into it. I told them, yo, this ain't the club. And I see this often at the gym. Even when they do their cardio, their speed is barely anything. They're just scrolling on their phones, going through the motions, etc. And not to downplay anybody, but there are some people that are consistent at the gym but they still look the same after months of going. I can tell they're focused and dedicated enough to go work out, but their nutrition isn't on point and that's what matters most. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to talk smack or anything, but this is just the truth when it comes to building muscle. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. How long did it take you to build muscle? So with consistent training and nutrition, I started seeing results around year three or four. This is when I started posting before and after photos on my social media and people would compliment me asking me, so what's your secret? And I think this is the problem with a lot of people. Everybody wants those instant results. They want to know how long it took you. And if you're open and honest about it, you can see the look on their faces like, oh, no thanks. But if you want to build muscle naturally at that, it's going to take time. If it was quick and easy, then everybody would be big and shredded. It's also the same thing with fat loss, right? They gain all this weight over the years and then they start going to the gym. They would spend tons of hours on the treadmill and eat barely any calories. They might see a little results at first, but then over time their body is like, wait, what are you doing? We need food to survive. So your body wants to hold on to as much fat as possible because it doesn't want to go to starvation mode. Then the person sees they're not losing any more weight over time. Then they give up because apparently what they're doing isn't working anymore. And it's the same cycle again over and over. Another thing I did in the past, which was a huge mistake, was lower my calories way too low. It was not too long ago where I listened to a friend that had a great physique, but he told me to lower my calories month after month, which towards the end was way too low for me. I was a bit confused because I got shredded in the past with a decent amount of calories 
But because he was super lean and shredded, I started to doubt myself and listen to his advice. Just know not everybody is the same and what might work for one person will not work for the other. But because of that, I did lose a lot of body fat, but I lost a lot of muscle in the process as well. Not only did I lose a lot of muscle that I worked hard to build, but because I was eating such low calories, I started to feel like crap. And I had no energy for the gym, so it became a lose-lose situation. Your body needs calories, not only to build and maintain muscle, but also for your body to function properly. So unless you're into bodybuilding and competing on stage, there really isn't any reason for you to go that low. If you're just the average guy that wants to get lean and have abs for summer, it would just be a disaster all around. So don't do it. Another big mistake I made was trying to stay shredded year round. This is not normal for a natural lifter. I wanted to stay under 10% body fat, but still gain muscle at the same time. That way, when I had to cut again for summer, the process would have been a lot quicker. However, I didn't see much results by doing so. I was too afraid of gaining body fat because I wanted to keep my abs. But I see a lot of influencers online that stay shredded year round. I believe a lot of these influencers that stay shredded year round either took a bunch of photos at the same time frame and spread their content throughout the year, or they are on some type of performance enhancing drug that allows them to do so. I don't mind if they are honest and transparent with what they are taking, but the ones that hide them, they are called fake natties or fake naturals, and they give beginner lifters fake expectations, or they're trying to sell them their products. Buy my protein powder and you too can look like me. My last tip for building muscle is it has to be a lifestyle change. What do I mean by that? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, diet is most important, but also are you getting enough sleep for your muscles to recover? Do you go out often and drink and party a lot? You won't see much potential muscle if these aren't in check. And no, that doesn't mean you have to cut out your entire life and only focus on building muscle. However, I do feel with great things come with some kind of sacrifice. And that's the honest truth. So that's all I have for today. Hope you guys learned something. Online coaching will be available soon. I also have another channel if you're interested. We talk about mindset, creating better habits, discipline, and achieving your goals outside of fitness. So if that sounds good to you, head on over to Lewis Hoffa Show. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And oh yeah, don't forget to bring the shreds and I will talk to you soon. Peace.